to stylish ninja channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to the channel thank you for your love for your support i appreciate each and every one of you that have supported this channel okay so if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed already please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell to get an update whenever i upload a new video if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of all of the classes we have presently available okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut this structured cap sleeve so you can see the picture showed to you earlier on it is a simple sleeve and it is beautiful and trending right now so that's what we're going to learn so i have my pattern paper here i'm going to be drafting with my pencil first so and then i'll check and make sure that i have i like what i have before i continue you can follow me on all of my social media platforms Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. I think I, I thought I said that before. Okay, so now let's get started. So I have my pattern paper here. I'm going to draft my regular cap sleeve. So in drafting my regular cap sleeve, depends on how much I want because of the puff that I'm going to be adding to it. So you put that into consideration. Normally, our round sleeve is usually nine inches for round sleeve, but because I'm going to add pleats to it, so I'm going to add about about four inches which will make it about 13 inches so i'll come to this part like this and then i'm going to take the height that's my calf's height that's the the depth my armhole depth from this point and then from this point i'm just going to make a circle like this for a normal calf sleeve so i'll just curve it curve this in like this so you can see what i have i'll just curve this in and then from here, I'll take the length of my sleeve. So for the length of my sleeve, so I'm going to be using about 11 inches for this sleeve. So that's 11 inches. I'll mark it straight like this. And then for the down part, I'll take my round sleeve measurement. So for the round sleeve, I'm going to use about 12.5 inches. So this is the 12.5 inches. So as you can see, this is our normal sleeve. So you can see it. I hope you can see it. Okay, so now we're going to adapt it now, which is a simple process. So from this point, we're going to, if you notice, you notice that it's, the top part is not very big. So you're going to determine how much you want. And then just, so when doing this kind of sleeve, I will advise you for you to use a pattern. So you'll be able to mark it out. So what I'm going to do from this sleeve and cap that's this curve part i'm just going to bring this down like this to this point and then i'll measure how much width i want to have on that down part so for this i'm going to use two inches so this is my two inches here i'll just reduce it a little bit and then from this point i'm going to come to this part like this and then determine how high if you notice this from this part it is a little bit high so for the the length of this part i'm going to use about five inches so i'll just use my five inches i'll mark my five inches here and then that five inches i'm going to curve that five inches so as i curve along i'll just like do this so i'm just trying to like eyeball it so that's just a better word to use and then i'll curve this like this so at the end of the day, so you can see the structure part. So I'm going to highlight it out properly for you to see. So I'll curve this part. I'll just mark it in. I'll mark this in to this point. And then this one. So it depends on how wide I want it to be. So at the end of the day, you can see the structure part of my sleeve. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to cut out now. So this is the one I'm going to cut out. So when I'm cutting, I'm just going to cut like this. So you can see what we have so the next thing now so this part now we're going to pleat all of this part 
So the best I'm, so I'm going to transfer this now to my fabric and then I'll show you how to stitch it. Okay, so I've cut out now my fabric and my lining together. So what I'll do now, take this back to my machine and then I'll sew this down part and then turn it and the sides. So I'll just sew everything and turn and then I'll bring it back and show you. Okay, so after stitching, so I'm going to push and turn it all out. And then I'll take it back to my machine, to my ironing table. I'll go and give it a good ironing. Okay, so you can see what we have. So you can see how, so this sleeve, you actually don't need to um, pad it or iron any strong. So once you get the cut, it's going to stand on its own. So the next thing now, uh, we're going to pleat this part. So I'm just going to take from the center. So depends on, for the pleat, you can determine that however you want it to be. So I'm just going to hold this up a little bit and then I will pleat. So after pleating, you're going to have something like this. So, and then this part, I'll stitch this part like this, and then I'll fix this part. So I'll place it on my mannequin now for you to see. So, so this part is optional. You can decide to sew it. You can decide not to sew it. That's this turn that I turned it like this is optional. So, and then I'll place it on my mannequin for you to see. I missed the spot here. Okay. And then this part, you stitch this part. So this part, you can see how it is looking. So I hope you can see it. So I'll place it on the mannequin now for you to see how it is looking. So you see it properly. Okay, so at the end of the day, you can see how a structured cap sleeve looks like. It actually came out really fine. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful so you can see how it is looking, you really don't need to add anything to it. Once you get the cut, it will stand on its own. So thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.